Good morning. Um, it's about 8.40ish right now. I've been up since 6.30 because this Walmart is very unhospitable, keeping the lights on all night. How rude of them. It's day four of this trip. I'm in a pretty desperate need for a shower, so we're gonna have to find one of those soon. Today we're just doing a lot of the scenery stuff, like Appomattox, UVA, um, what else we got? Williamsburg, Richmond, Jamestown, stuff like that. And then we'll hope we'd be by, at the beach by tonight. And yeah. We need a shower, so. About a mile away, but this is uh something I thought I need to see. Oh, this is something like yeah, Grant's headquarters. So yeah, 1865 history is out there. Neato. Man, there's so much tension in this picture. And right over here is where I'm, I'm gonna fill up that uh, gallon of water, that jug I have in my car so I can take a shower. Under this right here, does that do water? That'd be awesome if it does. <laughs> my boy. Perhaps the North would try to take revenge. After the brutal war and the assassination, the well of bitterness was deep. In the North, the nightmare of war had affected most lives. He rode to the McLean House in the village of Appomattox Courthouse. General Ulysses S. Grant followed shortly. After reminiscing a few minutes, Lee asked Grant to put his terms in writing. The terms were simple. Officers and men would give their paroles not to take up arms against the government of the United States. Alright, it's gonna be a little unconventional, but I'm gonna take like a I'm gonna wash my hair and parts of my body at the uh place we were just at the, uh, the um, where the headquarters were because nobody really drives by that I think it's fine because I'm not going to be nude it's cool we got it
I'd say that couldn't have gone any better. Now we're on our way to Charlottesville, and from what I've seen online, you can go to Edgar Allan Poe's old dorm room. So we're gonna try and do that. If not, we're to see the college and then move on to stuff after that. Cool, yo. All right, we just got here to UVA. I'm only gonna be here for like a minute because I just wanna see Edgar Allan Poe's old dorm room, which I think is over there, those buildings, if you can see them. If I put them on correctly. But this is a uh, reserved parking. So I'm thinking about just leaving my car on so like it shows like, oh, I'll be right back in a second. It's a pretty campus. I mean, that's the marker, so might be near it. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. I gotta run and get it before I get towed. Interesting. I think they said that some sort of fraternity does like inductions in here. Wow. Neat. All right, let's go. This is the steepest mountain trail I've ever been on. All of it is down. I mean, this is like a, like it's um, flat right now, but the rest of it is just. <laughs> Camera does not serve that justice. anymore oh it's just down 90 degree downhill for two miles straight uh. <laughs> that was the most hellish thing I've done on this trip probably ever in my life now obviously it's a bit of hyperbole I'm speaking out of emotion but as you can see from all the sweat um I don't really care and it was actually only one, one and three tenths of a mile down and up. So that just means it wasn't two miles and I'm out of shape. All right, it's a few hours later. It's a 7.30 right now. I don't exactly remember the last time I did a little one of these clip things. But we are here at the Ghost Church. It's apparently a church that doesn't have like, all it has is like the skeletal part, the foundation, not walls or windows or any of that. And it looks like it's uh, very popular because there's a lot of other people here. I was thinking more like Devil's Tramping Ground, like what we did last October. But, I mean, it's pretty popular. There's, there's, there's uh, some stupid event going on. People are singing songs. All right, they're taking forever, so I'm just gonna go up there and take a video and get out of here. If they get mad, I don't really care. I hope that guy's guitar strings break. Well, I made it to Richmond, and that's as far as I'm gonna get because uh, 
good old Edgar timed out and uh, won't start. And I got a guy to come over here and it's not the uh, engine or whatever, It's I think it's the starter. And then I called the tow company and said, oh, I tried to call AAA. And they're like, hey, you're not under an, an insurance policy, so you gotta call someone else. I'm like, yikes. So I called another place and they said, sure, we'll tow it for you. But by the way, um, most shops are closed on the weekends. Tonight's Friday, by the way. There's a shop open tomorrow. Just keep it here till 10 a.m. and then we'll get it fixed. So, I mean, I did say I was gonna spend the night in Richmond. Just didn't think it would be, you know, I didn't think Edgar would take a nap. So we have to find a nearby hotel and uh, waste about $100 and then we'll be back here at 10 a.m. This is because I told that guy I hope his guitar strings break, isn't it? Yeah, that's karma. <laughs> Alrighty, just made it to the uh, hotel. Um, this place has pretty cool artwork in the room. It's pretty nice. And there. So we're trying to wake up in the morning, go back to the place, and hope that my car didn't get towed by default because the parking receipt, the parking pass I got says it runs out at 5 a.m. And I'm like, well, I can't be there till 10 a.m. And obviously, I can't move the car. So I left a note, left a voicemail, and we'll just hope that it's um, still there in the morning. So I'm gonna actually take a real shower, sleep in a real bed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. See you.